Hello and welcome back to another episode of Undertale, where I hope, I hope the sound mix is a bit better. The music, unfortunately, there's no volume slider or anything like that. It's a very simple game. Um, yeah, so I had to turn down the music in the in OBS a lot. And I don't know. It, it felt like it was a better mix, maybe? I hope it is. I don't know. Can we read that sign? No. Do you smell that? Surprise! It is about a scotch cinnamon pie. I thought we might celebrate your arrival. I want you to have a nice time living here, so I'll hold off on snail pie for tonight. Ugh. Yeah, that's... yeah, it's probably a good decision. Here, I have another surprise for you. Okay. Can we just... look around a bit? Bookshelf? It's a history book. Here's a random page. Trapped behind the barrier in fear for a further human attacks, we retreated. Far, far into the earth, we walked until we reached the cavern's end. This was our new home, which we named Home. As great as our king is, he is pretty lousy at names. <laughs> so it's the same? Yeah. Unfortunately, so it's the same. Pretty sure there's more than one book in this, but okay. The ends of the tools have been filed down to make them safer. The fire isn't burning hot, it's just presently warm. You could put your hand inside. Uh, really? <laughs> Is that how fire works? Seems like the right size for Toriel. Should we peek around more? I guess we should. There's some white fur stuck in the drain. <laughs> okay, for some reason. There's a brand name chocolate bar in the fridge. Can I take it? Inside the couple are cookie cutters for gingerbread monsters. What a nice smell. Too hot to eat though. The stove top is very clean. Toriel must use fire magic instead. Uh, okay. Should also move the mouse off screen. These books are worn. They must have been read many times. Alright. This is it. This is my room. A room of your own. I hope you like it. I'm just gonna live here now. Is this the game? <laughs> is something burning? Well, make yourself at home. Okay. I've already been doing that. What about this room? What about this plant? No, this room? It's Toriel's diary. Read the circle passage. No, no, we're not snooping around. I mean, we're snooping around, but we're not re reading the diary. You peek inside. Scandalous. <laughs> it's Toriel's sock drawer. Ah, it's an encyclopedia of subterranean subterranean plants. You open in the you open to the middle. Typha, a group of wetland flowering plants with brown, oblong seed pods, known more commonly as water sausages. <laughs> Definitely bigger than a twin-sized bed. Ah, the cactus. Truly the most... What's that word? <laughs> Sundere? Sundere? Is that Japanese? It looks Japanese to me. What is that word? I don't think I've ever seen that word. It is Japanese. Tsundere? I have no idea how to pronounce that. There's a pronunciation thing, but I don't know. It's a Japanese term for a character development process that, des that describes a person who is initially cold and even hostile towards another person before gradually showing a warmer side over time. Okay, no idea. I'm not big into Japanese animation or manga, anime, not my, not my thing at all. Inside the drawer are flower seeds and some broken crayons. Room under renovations. Okay. It's you. It is. Oh, it is a water sausage. <laughs> we learned all about that. Nice. A 
look at these cool toys. It don't interest you at all. <laughs> ah. Can I just sleep? I guess I can. Oh, there's a hat. You found a slice of butterscotch cinnamon pie. It's not a hat, it's, it's a slice of pie. It looked like a hat. An empty photo frame, it's really dusty. A box of kids' shoes in a disparity of sizes. Oh, the lamp, nice, we can actually switch it on. Can I, what's my inventory again? How do I? Item, butterscotch buy. Info. All HP, butterscotch cinnamon pie, one slice. Okay, that heals me up all the way, which we don't really need right now. Let's see what's downstairs. I have no idea what we're doing here. I think you should play upstairs instead. I think I should play downstairs. <laughs> Can't outrun her. It's dangerous to play here. Let's see. <laughs> One more try. It is drafty here. You will catch a cold. <laughs> ah, okay. So what, what is she hiding down here? Why, why am I not allowed down there? Up already, I see. Um, I want you to know how glad I am to have someone here. There are so many old books I want to share. I want to show you my favorite bug hunting spot. Bug hunting spot is one word, obviously. I've also prepared a curriculum for your education. Wow. This may come as a surprise to you, but I have always wanted to be a teacher. Actually, perhaps it isn't very surprising. <laughs> Still, I'm glad to have you living here. Oh, did you want something? What is it? Uh, when can I go home? Nothing. When can I go home? What? This this is your home now. Um, would you like to hear about this book I'm reading? It's called 72 Uses for Snails. How about it? Sure. Here's an exciting snail fact. Did you know that snails have a chainsaw-like tongue called a ratula? I didn't know that. Did you, did you say it? Ratula? I don't know. Interesting. Yeah. Well, follow me if you need anything else. What is it? How to do exit the ruins? I have to do something. Stay here. Okay. Just ran away. Let's check the kitchen. Is there more pie? There is. The size of the pie intimidates you too much for you to eat it. See, that's completely unrealistic. I've never, I've never been intimidated by the size of the pie. Like, that's ridiculous. I want that chocolate bar. <laughs> I guess we'll... I don't know. We'll try to leave again? You wish to know how to return home, do you not? Ahead of us lies the end of the ruins. A one-way exit to the rest of the underground. I'm going to destroy it. No one will ever be able to leave again. No. <laughs> now be a good child and go upstairs. No, 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 I'm not going to be a good child. Every human that falls down here meets the same fate. I have seen it again and again. They come, they leave, they die. You naive child, if you leave the ruins, they ask or will kill you. I'm only protecting you. Do you understand? Go to your room. No! Um, do not try to stop me. This is your final warning. You want to leave so badly? Hmph. You're just like the others. There's only one solution to this. Prove yourself. Prove to me you're strong enough to survive. Dory rocks away. Talk. You couldn't think of any conversation topics. It's not good. Ow. Wow, Tori looks through you. Knows best for you.
This is tough. I, I suck at these kind of <laughs> mechanics. Tori prepares a magic attack. I try to think of something to say again, but... Tori prepares a magic attack, okay. Uh, wait. Can I just run? V. Escaped. That is right. Go upstairs. I still don't understand this battle mechanic at all. <laughs> oh, wow, <well>, okay. <laughs> I don't even know how to fight. You couldn't think of any conversation, no. Talking is not the key here, so what is the key? What do I do? I suck at this. She's gonna kill me here. Uh, I don't know if I wanna fight or not. I don't know if it makes sense to fight her. Yeah, I suck at these kind of dodging minigame things. I, I'm really bad at that. Yeah, I can't say anything. Wow, what is that? Ironically, talking does not seem to be the solution to the situation. Ah, how? So I'm attacking? How is what? Miss, yeah, I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm gonna die here. I have no idea about like I, I I don't understand this game. <laughs> uh, like I don't know what I'm doing. What am I doing here? Am I supposed to f actually fight her? That doesn't seem right. Try again, I guess. So I just stopped this thing. Yeah, I'm stopping too early, but I don't know. Yeah, I'm gonna. I, I, I can't do this. <laughs> I'm not good at this at all. 20. I have no idea what I'm doing. I don't know if there's like another resolution to this. I don't know. It's not really attacking me now. Yeah, no, we can't talk. Okay. Looks like she's intentionally missing me now. Yeah, I mean, those... Ported things are not going my way at all. I'm not moving. I don't know what I'm doing. Can I like spare her? I guess not. I have no idea what I'm doing. I feel like I don't want to fight, but 287? What? Arg. You are stronger than I thought. Listen to me, small one. If you go beyond this door, keep walking as far as you can. Eventually, you will reach an exit. 
I am feel I feel horrible. <laughs> Asgore. Do not let Asgore take your soul. His plan cannot be allowed to succeed. Be good. Won't you? My child. No, this is terrible. Is this the only way? Like, I could have done something else? I have no idea. This is the worst. This game, I have no idea what I'm doing. I have no idea what I'm doing. Where am I going? What's going on? <laughs> this is such a weird game. No, flower, the flower thing again. I'm at 2 HP, that's not great. I'm love 5 now, level 5, I guess, I don't know. I don't have anything. Eee. I hope you like your choice. After all, it's not as if you can go back and change fate. In this world, it's kill or be killed. That old hag thought she could break the rules. She tried so hard to save you humans. But when it came down to it, hee hee. She couldn't even save herself. That's terrible. I didn't, like, I don't know what, what could I have, like, the game made it, I don't know. I'm not happy. Like, I didn't want to fight her, but it, I, I wanted to talk, but it didn't let me talk. So what, what else could I have done? I could have left her, but then she would have sealed the, I don't know. What an idiot. Stupid flower. Are you fighting now? No. Guess we're going this way? I have no idea what I'm doing here. Undertale, that's again, that again. By Toby Fox. Is there a way to get out of that starting thing without fighting? I have no idea. There's a camera hidden in the bushes. <laughs> what? <laughs> Can I take it? No. I need to heal and I need to save my game somewhere. It's a tough looking branch, it's too heavy to pick up. Okay. Creepy sounds. <laughs> There's something behind me. I'm not turning around. I can't move. Okay, what is this shadow thing? Human. Don't you know how to greet a new pal? <laughs> Turn around and shake my hand. I don't want to. <laughs> what? What is this? Hey, <laughs> the old poopy cushion in the hand trick. It's always funny. Anyways, you're a human, right? That's hilarious. I'm Sans, Sans the Skeleton. I'm actually supposed to be on watch for humans right now, but you know, I don't really care about capturing anybody. Not my brother, Papyrus. He's a human hunting fanat human hunting fanatic. Hey, actually, I think that's him over there. I have an idea. Go for this gate thingy. Yeah, go right through. My bro made the bars too wide to stop anyone. Quick, behind that conveniently shaped lamp. <laughs> Sup, bro. You know what's up, brother? It's been eight days and you still haven't recalibrated your puzzles. You're just hanging around outside your station. What are you even doing? Staring at his lamp. 
Uh, staring at this lamp, it's really cool. Do you want to look? No, I don't have time for that. What if a human comes through here? I want to be ready. I will be the one. I must be the one. I will capture a human. Then I, the great papyrus, will get all the things I utterly deserve. Respect. Recognition. I'll finally be able to join the royal guard. People will ask to be my friend. I will bathe in a shower of kisses every morning. Hmm. Maybe this lamp will help you. Sans, you are not helping. You lazy bones. All you do is sit and boondogger? You get lazier and lazier every day. Hey, take it easy. I've gotten a ton of work done today. A skeleton. <laughs> oh man. Sans. Come on. You're smiling. I am and I hate it. <laughs> Why does someone as great as me have to do so much just to get some recognition? Wow, sounds like you're really working yourself down to the bone. Oh man. <laughs> I will attend to my puzzles. As for your work, put a little more backbone into it. <laughs> Guess a great laugh, by the way. Ha. All right. Okay, you can come out now. Just a conveniently shaped lamp. What's this? Nothing. It's some sort of checkpoint or sentry station. But there are bottles of ketchup, mustard, and relish sitting inside. So I can't. I want those ketchup and mustard bottles. I guess I can't have them. You ought to get going, he might come back, and if he does, he'll have to sit through more of my hilarious jokes. Yeah, but we should leave then. <laughs> we should leave right away. Actually, hey, hate to bother you, but can you do me a favor? I was thinking my brother's been kind of down lately. He's never seen a human before, and seeing you might just make his day. Don't worry, he's not dangerous. Even if he tries to be. Thanks a million. I'll be up ahead. Yeah, that... Yeah, uh, that sounds not, not like something I want to do, really. This is a box. You can put an item inside or take an item out. The same box will appear later, so don't worry about coming back. Sincerely, a box lover. Use a box? Yes or no? Yes. Top the glove. We'll take it. And... Uh, item... Tough glove, weapon attack 5, a warm pink leather glove for 5 fingered folk. So I can use it. You equip tough glove. Which means I now have a stick. Which, yeah, has attack 0. Its bark is worse than its bite. Ah man, so many puns! No wonder Snipes likes this game. No, I'm not ready to fight. Snow Drake Brothers fourth. I'm gonna faint, or well, I'm not gonna faint. It's not Pokemon. I'm gonna die here. <laughs> Check it. Snow Drake. This teen comedian fights to keep a captive audience. Ice puns are snow problem. <laughs> oh man. Assessing the crowd. Love. You love it. Snow Drake's pun. See, loves. That was wrong. Snowdrag is pleased with its cool choke. I just, I'm still not really sure about anything here. Like I can, how do I, I can just flee. But how does this, like, it's not really re resolving the fight, is it? <laughs> the convenience of that lamp still fills you with determination. It does. I guess I save now. Yeah, I'll stand by my decisions, even though I don't know if I like them, in hindsight. Oh, it's a fishing rod. It's a fishing rod affixed to the ground. Really then? Yes. All that's attached to the end is a photo of a weird looking monster. Call me, here's my number. He decided not to call. 
Ah, okay. I guess we could keep going this way. So as I was saying about Undyne. <laughs> what are they doing? Sans, oh my god, is that a human? Uh, actually, I think that's a rock. Oh, hey, what's that in front of the rock? Oh my god, is is that a human? Yes. <laughs> oh my god, Sans, I finally did it. Undyne will, I'm gonna, I'll be so popular, popular, popular. Ahem. <clears throat> Human, you shall not pass this area. I, the great Papyrus, will stop you. I will then capture you. You will be delivered to the capital. Then, then, I'm not sure what's next. In any case, continue only if you dare. <laughs> well, that went well. Don't sweat it, kid. I'll keep an eye socket out for you. All right, that sounds good maybe, I have no idea. So booth thing here. Ice caps struts into view. Check. This teen wonders why it isn't named Ice Hat. <laughs> what a great hat. Mine. <laughs> of course yours. Oh this is I hate this. Wow. Okay. Ice cap makes sure its head is still there. Compliment. You inform Ice Cap that it has a great hat. Duh, who doesn't know? Ice Cap is thinking about a certain article of clothing. I just don't know how this really works yet. <laughs> great hat, and then the same the same thing happens again. Oh, this is different. I don't like this. Alright. <laughs> Ice Cap also wants a head for its nose. You may should tear your eyes away from Ice Cap's hat. It looks annoyed. Hello, my hat's up here. <laughs> Ice Cap is secretly checking if you're looking at its head. Try to steal Ice Cap's hat, but it's not weak weakened enough. Okay, help, fashion police! I have no idea how this whole thing works. Let's hit it once, I guess. Oh, said what? No, that's stupid. Your head looks so naked. Guess it does. Hitting set is stupid. What a great hat. Mine. Yeah, we've heard that before. Let's try to steal a head again. You try to steal Ice Cap's hat and succeeded. It melts in your hands. So cold. Ice cap is no more. Ice. Without its cap, so cold. <laughs> ice cap is no more. Compliment. You inform ice cap that it still looks fine. So I can still impress you? Ice doesn't mind its identity. <laughs> this is also confusing. I wanted you to see me as cool. You won. Okay. I have no idea what's going on. This is the most confusing game ever. There's some narration in this cardboard box. You observed a well-crafted sentry station. Who could have built this? You ponder. I bet it was a very famous royal guardsman. No, not yet a very famous royal guardsman. Yeah. Absolutely no moving. Did something move? Was it my imagination? I can only see moving things. If something was moving, for example, a human, 
I'll make sure it never moves again. Wow, how rude. Doggo blocks the way. Doggo, easily excited by movement. Hobbies include squirrels. Alright, don't move an inch. Doggo is confirming the moving object. I guess I should not have moved, I don't know. Pet it. Doggo is too suspicious of your movements. It moved. It didn't not move. Okay, not moving is the key here. Doggo can't seem to find anything. You pet Doggo. What? I've been pet. Pot, pet, pot, pet, pet, pot, pot, pet. <laughs> Doggo has been pet. Pet him again. Where's that coming from? <laughs> pet, pot, pot, pet, pot, pot, pet. Doggo has been pet. This is so weird. Like, do I attack it now or do I. What do I do? Will it move this time? No. Dogger has been pet, alright. Mercy, spare. You won. Very good. Something pet me, something that isn't m moving. I'm gonna need some dog treats for this. <laughs> Hello? Is anybody there? No? <laughs> Someone's been smoking dog treats. <laughs> you can smoke dog treats? Wow. I think this dog has a problem. Hey, here's something important to remember. My brother has a very special attack. If you see a blue attack, don't move and it won't hurt you. Here's an easy way to keep it, keep it in mind. Imagine a stop sign. When you see a stop sign, you stop, right? Stop signs are red, so imagine a blue stop sign instead. Simple, right? <laughs> when fighting, think about blue stop signs. Okay. I'll try to do that. I can't stop. I can't read a sign like that. North ice, south ice, west ice, east Snowden town and ice. It's a snowman. Hello, I'm a snowman. I want to see the world, but I cannot move. If you would be so kind, traveler, please. Take a piece of me and bring it very far away. Sure. Thank you. Good luck. I got the snowman piece. Not sure where I'm gonna put it, but I don't know. We'll figure something out. Should also end this episode. Oh well. I guess we'll do this first. You're so lazy. You were napping all night. I think that's called sleeping. Excuses. Excuses. Oh ho, the human arrives in order to stop you. My brother and I have created some puzzles. I think you will find this one quite shocking. For you for you see, this is the invisible electricity maze. When you touch the bars of this maze, this orb will administer a hearty sap. Sound like fun? Because the amount of fun you will probably have is actually rather small, I think. <laughs> okay, you can go ahead now. Stepped himself. Sans, what did you do? I think the human has to hold the orb. Oh, okay. <laughs> hold this, please. Okay, try now. <laughs> Incredible, you slippery snail. <laughs> you soaked it so easily. Too easily. However, the next puzzle will not be easy. It is designed by my brother Sans. You will surely be confounded. I know I am. <laughs> hey, thanks. My brother seems like he's having fun. By the way, do you see that weird outfit he's wearing? We made that a few weeks ago for a costume party. He hasn't worn anything else since. He keeps calling it his battle body. Man, isn't my brother cool? I don't know. I was kind of hoping for a safe point here, but it doesn't look like we'll get one. I guess we'll just end the episode here. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>